Hello, I'm Evelina, and this video is about me and Coco because I'm adopting. I came to Tenerife Force Rescue because I always had a big passion for helping animals in need and I love traveling and I combined the two and I went here to Tenerife Force Rescue and I've been uh, riding and taking care of horses since I was around five years old so this seemed as a perfect place to come and I like the community here and the chill vibes and so far I really like it. That's a long ball. Oh no, in the other one, uh, <coughs> what I was doing uh, with the ball, yeah. to go swim yeah. in front of him and throw it, yeah. I, I was going and swimming with him. I'm so Literally out. that you can throw them. <laughs> uh, uh, it's incredible how much yeah. he loves swimming yeah. and how much he can swim. Yeah, and it's like never ending. Never like ending. Like after two and a half hours the, on the beach, he's still like, I want one more, one more. <laughs> Even if he's on the free leg? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just like a, well, this is a, we are not sure, but the collie that is on him, in, 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 in like yeah. as a breed, that is really interested, really yeah. active, really playful, and really mad about his ball. Yeah. You cannot touch his ball. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, you he see, really you can throw. Yeah. And other dogs cannot. No, cannot take it. And he loves taking other dogs' balls. I oh, know. yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every ball is mine. Yeah. <laughs> One of the best moments I had with Coco is when we went to the beach for the first time. And he was so excited. <laughs> like, he was so excited. And I never seen such a happy dog. Like, we had so much fun and he was playing in the water and he goes down in the water and he like lays down. Like this little cute Barbie girl, like he's laying there enjoying himself. <laughs> And he also, when we came up to the beach, he was like digging holes. He was doing, I don't know, snow angels, but in the sand. And he was just so fun and he was so happy. And it was so lovely to see him talk so happy. And I really fell in love with him because I thought he was so funny. And then he uh, put sand all over me. Yes, he did. And then after a while we had to go back home and I think I was more dirty when we went from the beach then when we get there. But it was still a lot of fun. <laughs> so how did he end up here as a thinker? Well, he's actually the, he with another dog that has been already uh, rehomed. Yeah. They were the first uh, two uh, animal living at the finca. Living uh, already? Yes, because oh, okay. uh, the first things that uh, we did when we bought the piece of land that become uh, yeah. what you know now. Yeah. Uh, we had a uh, uh, couple of animals already, but we didn't have any dogs. And okay. as we were like, try to have uh, dogs and as... Uh... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, pausa. <laughs> and uh, as like dogs uh, scare people, yeah. we thought, okay, we can get immediately a couple of dogs from some shelter and yeah. give them a better life, like yeah, with yeah. a bigger space, uh, big, more freedom. So we went to uh, another shelter in, uh, in the same area and uh, we went uh, to uh, adopt uh, a dog that they say they were good for me. Okay. <laughs> but then we didn't want to take her by herself. Okay. So we thought uh, like, can we have a second one to have a company like this, yeah. they're never alone. And uh, her best friend was Coco. Aww. So I this see. is the reason uh, why Coco ended yeah, up with us. I see. Uh, then uh, well, from there we can, uh, say that that is, uh, we are talking about 2018. Yeah. So he's May 2018, yeah. So it's more than five years uh, that he's with us. And when we took him, we, uh, we, uh, we've we been told that he, he was five years already in the shelter. Oh. And uh, when he arrived to the shelter, he was not a puppy. He okay, was no, already no, yeah. a yeah. adult teenager. Yeah. So exactly we don't know how uh, old is it? Yes. But at least we're going for 12 years old. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, yeah. how he acts. He's acted, very active for 12 years old. He's not really showing up his age. Yeah. <laughs> so when I first got here, Coco was very. He was a bit shy almost. Like, he's a part of the Finca, and I knew that, that he's been here for a long time. 
and he's always around but he was not really interacting with anyone and uh, he didn't show that much interest was my first opinion about Coco and he was very calm and he did his own thing uh, and at first I wouldn't really say that I fell in love at the first moment it was more like something that builds up and it was my family that started to speak about them wanting a new family member and I asked Emma which dogs were up for adoption and then she told me Coco was so I sent a picture of him to my mom and she fell in love <laughs> So that's when I decided I wanted to interact more and more with Coco so he could feel safe when we were leaving. And pretty quickly I understand that this was a dog with a lot of personality and I loved it. I fell in love with everything about him and I really enjoy his company and yeah, we have a great time. But I think like in the beginning it was more like he was just this dog walking around by himself doing his own thing and then when I decided like, okay, I'm gonna give this dog a chance, we just build it up on the, as we went. Has it been up for adoption since the first moment you got to the Finca? As every other animal in the Finca, yeah. if there is any person that is interested in them and uh, they offer a better place than in the Finca, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, he's been uh, the love of many people, but yeah, most of the people they is. couldn't uh, really give him uh, a better life yeah. of the finca because people have to work yeah. because sorry <laughs> because people uh, they don't uh, have a bigger space yeah. where he can run uh, where uh, like he was the only dog so always there was something, something that was not really the perfect yeah. home then you arrived <laughs> And, uh, and I can just be happy for him and yeah. for you because yeah. he's an awesome dog. Yeah, he is. Uh, he really is. He's loyal. He's, uh, and I, he has I, so much personality. I was talking about it earlier as well. Like He has so much personality. He does all this character thing that is typical Coco. Like, yeah. It's yeah. not only one more dog. It's like a very <laughs> special dog. No, no, it's a special dog. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we love the bow. We love the sea, but we love to <laughs> run, right? Bye-bye. <laughs> when I first started to interact with Coco, he was a bit skeptical. He was like, what are we doing? Why are you trying to cuddle me all the time and being around? But he really enjoyed it. Like, we had a great time. And then we he started to come to, towards me and he shows to... Uh, actually interact with me it was not only me trying to interact with him and yeah I started to feed him we went on walks I took him to the beach and the more time we spent together the more he actually chose to be with me and he started to sleep in my bed and every time when I go to like the toilet or the showers he always follows and he stays outside and wait and when I'm going somewhere with the car he always wants to join so a lot of times you just go with a car when I'm doing grocery shopping or going to the gas station and yeah, he follows me everywhere now and I love it. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, like uh, the, uh, briefly the story of him and uh, as I am uh, happy, I am at the same, same time sad yeah. because he's been uh, a really good friend yeah. for all these years. <laughs> but these, uh, Thank you to give me the last <laughs> opportunity to play with him. Absolutely, I think he enjoys it just as much as you do. Because, uh, yeah. Finally someone that can throw far away balls again. Vamos. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. Before, of course, in the early years of the of the Finca, we had the less animals, so we had more time to spend yeah. with, the, with the dogs, with, yeah. the, with every animal, but with the dogs in particular. So it was like almost uh, a weekly. A point when to come to the beach, when uh, as you saw in the last uh, month, it's been uh, difficult uh, yeah. for different yeah, reasons. Yeah, which I totally understand. So many animals, uh, the uh, but A now baby. babies. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, he need uh, he need more attention than what we can uh, give him, and uh, and yeah, you are blessed for him. <laughs> Maybe he's a blessed for me. <laughs> because uh, see see him following you around. Yeah. Uh, 
is it's so is, is awesome. It's, it's so cute. And <laughs> it was uh, it, it is not what what he, he need what he yeah. wants as a person yeah. because this has uh, always been uh, our question mark. Do we want to uh, really let him go yeah. or do we want to keep him here yeah. because he has been with us uh, six yeah. years almost. And really he needs someone to be healthy, with. But we see that he wants one person. Yes. He loves to uh, yeah. follow someone, <laughs> bark to someone, yeah. <laughs> play with someone all the time. <laughs> and also as uh, he's uh, start to be an old dog and as many of the dogs that we have in our sh shelter he has little problem yeah. like you know that yeah of course you know yeah. <laughs> so it's better that only one person yeah. follow him because they know perfectly what how is do. it yeah. and uh, sit <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that i've heard a lot from other people around here is that they think he's much happier now it's hard for me to see it because I didn't know him before I was here and he's been here for a lot of years and I've only been here for three months so I can only speak from what I've seen but what I've heard from others is that he seems more happy which makes me very happy that I can bring that to him and more playful and interacting and I got I've, a lot of people told me that he never really connected with a person that much and that he follows everywhere and that he sleeps with them all the time and stuff like that. So that's really, really fun to hear. Uh, that maybe we actually have something special. <laughs> me and uh, Emma are really, really happy. Yeah, I'm happy as well. Uh, I'm very really happy that I'm Glad that, that we, uh, we stick on him for yeah. many years. Uh, and finally, <laughs> someone uh, really good came and to offer him uh, uh, a new and forever yeah. sweet home. Yeah. So when we arrive to Sweden, Coco will live in a big red house with my two parents and he will have a sister and you will have two cousins because my brother has two dogs and they come to visit a lot so you'll play with them as well and you will have a big big garden and then during the summers we have like a summer place so he will be able to swim whenever he wants to and he will have a big big garden there as well and it's like an island with no cars on it, so he can just run around, live his life. Uh, so hopefully, you will really like it. And you will have the two best parents in the world. They will love you to death. We don't, uh, we don't know how he's going to handle with the different temperature. No, that's, so, <laughs> that's a little mission. We bought a big coat, at least. And, uh, so we will see how he reacts to that one. And it came a lot of snow yesterday in Sweden. So it'll probably be snow when we land. Oh, yeah! White Coco in a white land. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Maybe he'll be terrified or maybe it'll be the best thing ever. He's gonna enjoy, surely, if yeah, you are next so. to him. Yeah. <laughs> warm love is yeah. enough for a cold place. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so adopting a dog scene is like way harder than I thought. <laughs> Not only like it's a lot of paperwork and especially when you're taking the flight to Sweden they have a lot of rules around it which is good I totally understand why but it's a lot of things that need to be written down in the passport and he needs to take a couple of shots and the veterinary has to say specific things in the passport and the cage has like 10 points it needs to fulfill but I think we have everything now. We have the cage, we have all the paperwork, and we have the flight tickets. So I think we're ready. And we told them that we're coming. So they're expecting you back home in Sweden. Just came in the middle. The front <laughs> said, like, yeah, they're talking about me and my ball. Yes, and the ball comes with you. It's the center you. of attention. Yeah. <laughs> Most important thing. The ball, the ball. Yay! <laughs> I can't throw as far as you though. <laughs> M high. M oh, it's, really? Does it go not far? Not far. High. Because then you have more, more space to. Yeah. 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 It's a bit better. 
Goodbye. <laughs>